I'm going to show you how to create amazing animated backgrounds in seconds all within Premiere Pro. We'll explore 5 unique styles including backgrounds used by popular creators such as Iman Gotzi. It's all powered by a simple preset loaded with tons of customization options like gradients, grids, topographic maps and more. Stick around until the end to find out how you can get your hands on this game changing preset. Let's get started. First up we have the infamous Iman Gotzi grid background. Start by dragging the automatic backgrounds MoGa from the Essential Graphics panel onto your timeline. Select the layer and the Edit tab should open automatically. Let's begin by customizing the background color. Open the background tab and under styles, I'll choose a linear gradient. There are other styles like radial gradients and even dynamic animated ones, but for now, let's stick with linear. Next, head into the colors tab. Since we're using a linear gradient, we only need to adjust color one and color two. I'll set color 1 to a dark red. With the background sorted, let's move on to the grid. Open the grid tab and enable it. Under grid settings, adjust the grid size and border thickness. Tweak these settings until you are happy with how it looks. Now let's animate it. Open animation settings and set the style to top to bottom. The default speed works for me, so I'll leave it as it is. The preset also comes with built-in effects for all the patterns. The glow effect is already applied. I'll enable the distortion effect for that classic Iman Gatsi look. Adjust the distortion level to your liking. There's also a lens warp effect but we won't be using it in this design. Finally, let's lower the opacity in the layer settings to blend it in more seamlessly. We could stop here but let's add one last touch, film grain. Open the film grain tab and enable it. You'll find options to adjust the fragments, vertical lines and strands, each with size, opacity and speed controls. I like the default settings so I'll leave them as they are. And there you have it, an Iman Gatsi style background. Before we dive into the next design, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be giving this preset to a few lucky subscribers in the discord community. Now with that being said, let's create a liquid gradient background. Start with the automatic backgrounds layer again. Open the background tab and set the style to flow gradient. This effect uses all four colors so let's customize them. I'll set color 1 to cyan. Color 2 to purple, color 3 to pink, and color 4 to dark blue. Open the effects tab and click the distortion drop down. You can choose between weak or strong. I'll go with strong for a more dramatic effect. To finish, let's add some noise. Open up the noise tab and adjust it to about 7. Keep in mind that the distortion effect is resource heavy, so it's a good idea to press enter to render the layer before previewing it. And that's it, a liquid gradient background done in seconds. Next up, we have this super cool grid wall using the spatial grid pattern. For this example, I'll use the vertical preset. Start by selecting your automatic backgrounds layer and as always, begin with the background color. I'll go for a linear gradient. I'll set color 1 to dark gray and color 2 to black. Now, enable the spatial grids pattern. This is one of my favorite patterns in the preset. Let me show you some of the styles. We have a floor, a floor and ceiling, a floor and a wall, we have side walls and we also have a cube. For this design, we'll use side walls. Adjust the grid size and tweak the thickness and fade amount until you're happy with the look. Next open the animation settings and set the animation to top to bottom. As you can see, both walls are moving in the same direction. To fix this, Check the alternating box to reverse one side. Increase the speed slightly to around 5 and reduce the glow intensity. It's a bit too strong for this design. Finally, enable lens warp and increase the warp amount until you're happy with it. And there you go, a stunning grid design. For our next background, we're using the pattern grid. Start by setting the background style to dynamic gradient. I'll leave it as purple for now. Now let's enable the pattern grid. This effect is cool because we can use our own icon but for this example we'll stick with the dot. Adjust the icon scale and spacing to get the look that you want. Under animation settings there are plenty of options. I'll use left to right for the animation style. You can also enable icon rotation. This rotates each icon by the number of times you set on the slider. My favourite effect is the fade animation. Enable it and tweak the settings until it looks just right. And that's it, a simple yet powerful design using the pattern grid. Lastly, let's create a topographic map background. Start by setting the background style to solid 
and then we can change color one to black. Now let's enable the topographic map. This design already looks great as it is, but let's explore the customization options. We have the scale slider which will allow us to zoom in or out of the map. Then we have variation which generates a new seed to change the map pattern. And we also have the complexity slider which you can adjust for a simple or intricate design. Each layer also has individual settings including thickness, distance and opacity. These settings allow for an unlimited amount of designs. There are so many more backgrounds that we can create with this preset, such as the wave or lines pattern and all of the other extra effects, but I'll leave that in your hands. The link to download the automatic backgrounds preset is in the description. When you download the files, you'll get two more cards, one for the horizontal videos and one for vertical videos. Installing them is easy, just drag them into the essential graphics panel and they'll be ready whenever you need them. You'll also receive a collection of pre-rendered files, including background templates and over 600 elements. This is a fantastic tool for beginner editors and even advanced ones looking to save time and create stunning designs. What's more is you can build your own asset library for personal or client projects. Be sure to download automatic backgrounds from the link in the description. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.